Hey everybody. Hi. It is Friday. Friday night. 8 o'clock I think. No, 6 o'clock. I don't know what time it is. Anyway, here I am at Catnip Corners. Thought you might want to see. Ooh. Cold. I had to go put a jacket on. Um, <laughs> sorry everybody. So, so here I am at Catnip Corners. I'm in my front yard. I re did this in April, I think, and it was a lawn, and I added the fence. So let me show you what's new, because there's been some new things. So let me let me show you what it looks like here. Okay, so this was a, this was my front yard with a lawn that had crabgrass in it, and I I let me get up on the porch here, and I removed everything, and I put all these fences in over here and they're just wood with stacks of um, brick and I turned this into my front yard what do you think and tomatoes over here on the right look at these hollyhocks let's look around the garden I love looking at my garden bougainvillea lots and lots of bougainvillea alyssum now these hollyhocks what the heck I don't know where they came from. I don't remember planting them. They just started growing, and we said, "What? What? What are these?" There might have been a. There might have been one um, seed, but I thought, "What are these?" And so we just waited. I just waited and waited, waited, watching them grow, and that's what happened. Um, what do I got over here? Some sort of, I don't know, probably cucumber of some sort, marigolds. And I've been out watering it almost every day. So, tomatoes. Look at those cherry tomatoes. Mm -mm. There's some small ones right here. Should be able to pop that puppy right in my mouth and eat it. Yum, 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 yum. See? I'm letting the radishes grow. I don't really have anybody who wants to eat them. So, mm -mm -mm. juicy. So I have, I've just let them grow because they're pretty full of flowers. So yeah, I've got to cut this back a little bit. I've been trimming that because it's already out. I need to spend a little time with these areas, get all the dead out of there. What else I got? Another tomato. There's my strawberries. I moved them into the front yard so I'd have some strawberries out here. Oh, look, it's blooming. There's a, there's a sunflower. These are sweet peas. Now I have been planting these. Oh, this smells so good. I have been planting and planting and have not had any grow. And then now, look, they're growing. Oh, they smell amazing. I guess I need to put a tomato in there. Nothing's in there. Here's some more. Looks like my, the green beans, it looks like the pea pods didn't get picked enough. Here's a pea. These are easy. Oh, that's good. Nothing ever makes it in the house. It usually just gets eaten right as <laughs> right from the garden. Uh-huh. Good, good, good. More tomatoes. Um that's a broken chairs. So I didn't want anybody sitting on them, so I just put plants on them. That way they're a little higher and the sun can get them. Here's some more tomatoes. Can't remember what these are called. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Mmm. Sweet as sugar. Cleaned this out the other day because it's already it was overgrown. But look at these, look at these sunflowers. Oh my God. Mark, I got him a bunch of sunflowers, various varieties, and he just started planting them. And say what I did with my driveway here. And they just came up. No idea how tall those are. 10 feet, more, 12 feet. They're probably close to the roof line, I think, now. Look at that. So uh, we didn't expect that. We didn't know that's what would happen. There's all kinds of varieties here. If anybody needs sunflower seeds, I've got them. Come get them. Look at this. There's all kinds of varieties. And then this grew in here, and this looks like a radish that's gone wild, but it's actually part of a sunflower. So I have no idea what this is, but it's kind of pretty. Yeah, if I was, if I, if I knew better, 
I would have planted my marigold, I mean, uh, sunflowers, so <laughs> I had something to grow against besides this little fence I put up. See so, yeah, how they're just bricks with boards stuck in them. And I put some things to make it a little more secure. All the solar stuff I put is not seeable. And then I took the front of my front yard and I've been planting some stuff out here. These are all different kinds of oranges that I've had in the backyard for 20 years. I don't think they've ever done anything, but they were in pots. So I moved them out here. I guess I'm at the wrong time of the day because this, the, Mar um, the California poppies are usually massively open and they're so beautiful. And the poppies um, are just wild. You know, they're just from my backyard. And the marigolds and the Johnny Jump Ups, they were just growing wild in my backyard, so I just transplanted them from the back. There's a tomato here, some random tomato growing in there. Now, Mark planted these because we, we found we had a little leftover sunflower seeds. And <laughs> this one right here is taller than I am already. And it, that was just a few weeks ago, I think. Oh, look at the marigolds that have blossomed. Oh, wow, look at them go. Here's another, this is another orange tree. And look at my dahlias. Oh, MG, aren't they beautiful? Just beautiful. And this bougainvillea we thought had died. And I transplanted it. I took it out of a pot and put it out here. And it's took a little bit of time and it's growing back. There's another bougainvillea back here. I mean, I didn't plan any of this, you guys. I just, there's another bougainvillea. Oh, I think this is the one we thought was dead. Nope, it's, it's growing. Yeah, that's the one we thought it died. So I don't know if that's ever going to do anything because we put these darn sunflowers in here. Look at these, all these succulents. I don't even know if I just put them in and now that they're getting, they have space and water, they're doing well. Um, here's some more um, sweet peas and dahlias. I don't know what they're going to bloom, what color. So here's my patio, the little area. And then my friend of my house, I transplanted a whole bunch more stuff that I had growing in the backyard, just wild, little tiny things, like, like an inch tall, like an inch tall. I just transplanted them out here and look at them go. My lissom, this is just wild. That's nothing to do. I have some geraniums. The marigolds are doing beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at them. More geraniums. I've got a lot of stuff I can transplant. Oops, this shouldn't be in here. And so I've got some weeding I should do. And here's my book library thing that I made. And people keep coming by and dropping off books, but they're not taking books. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with this darn thing. Um, you guys need books? Come get books. It's packed. Oh, there's some Harry Potter in there. So it's, that's like three layers of books because this is really kind of tall, you guys. So there's a lot in there. I have also, besides an overabundance of sunflower seeds, because I am picking them, letting them dry a little bit, and then I'm gonna take the seeds out. And I started this is part of a box. I gave some to a friend of mine, uh, sunflower seeds. So if you want sunflower seeds, I got them. But here's something else that came up wild. Now, I don't know where I got these things, but they're beautiful. These are poppy seeds. And inside each of these bulbs, 50 or more seeds. And they grow up and they look like, well, here, here's some dried ones. They grow up, oops, one little seed, imagine that. They grow up and they look like this, well, it looks really, uh, really pretty green like this. It's like a lettuce or a carnation. They look like a carnation. And they grow up, I don't know, maybe three feet, a yard. And then they make these beautiful purple flowers. They, they go, they're a poppy. And then whenever they are done flowering, they become these bulbs. And then inside each one of these, like I said, there's probably 50 or more. So if you have any need for poppy seeds or sunflower seeds, now I don't really want to mail them. 
I don't know if that's legal. But um, if you want to, if you want poppy seeds, sunflower seeds, uh, please come and take them. You know, you can even throw them out in the wild. Some maybe that's what I should do. Is just find a place. Well, I guess I'm not supposed to do that, huh? But maybe alongside a road or something, just throw them out there and let them grow. And hopefully they'll do something. But I've got some carnations. Now, I'm not supposed to be buying flowers from the store because I've got quite a few. But I found these carnations at CVS. I've never grown baby carnations before. But they smell so amazing. Oh, I guess that's their seed. In there. I've never grown carnations before. No, maybe that's not the seed. It must be inside further. And they just smell amazing. So I really want some sweet smelling stuff in the house. So I'm going to transplant these. I've got, I've got some other pots I want to put them in and uh, let them grow. And then whenever I guess when they're done flowering, I can put them somewhere else, take them out and put them in the yard someplace. But isn't it amazing to be able to come out here and this is my front yard that I've had in over here 25 years or something. And I've, you know, what are you going to do with your front yard whenever it's, you know, the kids are grown and everybody's gone and it's just a nice quiet area. So now I have this, it's because of the sunflowers, it's now private <laughs> to some extent. So I'm playing with this as I go. I don't really know what I'm doing, obviously, but I enjoy it. And, you know, if I had thought about it and really understood how big these sunflowers would get, I thought they wouldn't get maybe the height of the fence. That's as far as I thought they would go. And these out here, I don't know. I have no idea. They're not even ready to bloom yet. So, well, this one right here is blooming. Right there is blooming. So maybe that's as big as they'll get. I don't know. That'd be okay. That's about right. Right about there's a good height, but not much more. So find nature where you can. Uh, come by and get books and some some seeds, people. I really would like to get rid of them. I don't like to toss anything. So um, take care, everybody. Have a great uh, summer.